Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little video on how I paint my Christmas candles. You know, how you buy these plain old plastic, plain candles. And I paint it up to look really cute, adds a little character, looks really sweet at your window. And it's so easy. Uh, I, when we moved into our home 14 years ago, I painted all my candles. So it's nothing new. It's something I did a long, long time ago. And of course, when, I, when we built this little shed, I thought I had to have candles for my shed you know for the windows of course hello like so I bought these two candles for that and I thought I may as well do a little DIY video show you how I paint them up and give you a good little idea um, so you just buy your plain candle right here and then all you need is sandpaper and you need your craft paint craft paints here um, also what I use though for the base of this one I use oil based paint just because I want this specific color and I have tons of oil based paints. So I just use that. But um, you don't have to use oil based paint. This candlestick part is a water based paint. Um, but once you do the water base, you're also going to need to cover it with a matte varnish to protect it, keep it stronger, tougher, keep it from scratching and whatever. So you take your candlestick and you take your, you know, finer grit paper, sandpaper, and you just kind of sand all around actually we'll take the light bulb out and if you decide to spray paint some people will probably spray paint them if you decide to spray paint just make sure you block you know put a little bit of paper towel at the end there don't want to get paint in there so we're just going to sand it all around lightly you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to scratch them all up right so we're basically going to go and i have to say to the little drops little drips here um, on these ones they're, they're finer so I decided to just paint it all one color and um, but for the other ones that you can put them sometimes you buy the drips are bigger and so what I did I painted the drips lighter and the candlestick a little bit darker so that's what I did. But for these we're painting it all one solid color because it looked messy doing the little because the drips are so small so and then we're going to you know you're gonna sand all around your base here get in all those grooves like so but like I said we don't want to stretch it up too hard and always paint does tend to stick really better but and I find that they stayed pretty good um, I did repaint the bases basically just to change the color uh, on, uh, for the Christmas candles but I probably would like to change the bases again one more time but I don't have time but I don't think this Christmas but you can change it, you know, you make a color and decide a few years later you want to change your color. You go ahead. It's no, no big deal, really. And sometimes they do get scratched, so you just want to touch them up. Over the years, they, you know, they do tend to get scratched a little bit. So then once you do your sanding, I kind of did a quick job there, but basically that's the idea. You sand all around, then you wipe off the residue. And um, what I use for the color for this particular candlestick, um, I use... An antique white but this basically this is buttermilk but it's basically this antique white creamy color here and I added a little bit of uh, bright yellow to the mixture <clears throat> that's the color but any cream you want to use I mean some people might want to paint red candles or white candles with red base or black base or what you know whatever color is your your style your Christmas colors you use you know I just teal you know green my colors but for this shed especially I thought this would look really cute in my little shed so basically here's this mixture of my cream and this is the water based paint and you just basically paint the whole candlestick whole thing and I painted probably four coats of this on the candle and like I say I'm painting all in the drips here I mean anyone can do this anyone can paint this is a project that you don't have to be a crafter to do this this is just painting and it just makes such a difference actually it would make cute little get Christmas gifts if you want to paint up a couple for someone and uh, I haven't done that yet but I probably should make some gifts so here we go so we got this all basically painted here and just go on the tip here a little bit here now I'm going to paint in there so I basically did 
I think I did four coats. So once that's all dry, then don't forget to put your matte, your matte varnish on top and that will make it more durable. And then what I did, I just have my oil base paint and just painted the bottom probably like two coats. And if you use craft paint, just make sure you don't forget to put your matte varnish on it. You don't have to put matte varnish on uh, oil base paint. So I'll use the gloss, it's a gloss oily paint. So that is just basically what you do. You know, it's pretty simple and it makes all the difference. I find it makes them pretty cute. So I hope you like this little idea and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.